flexing, ex testing. Yeah, yeah, I'm just testing. Brand new Rory, Smith and Wesson. You know, Rory, Smith and Wesson. So, um, look, first off, I don't know what time I'm going to upload this video. It's probably going to be in the morning. If it's in the morning, good morning. If it's any time after 12 o'clock, good afternoon, whatever. Um, <clears throat> This morning, I did what y'all did. Thank God we woke up. You know what I'm saying? We got to get our day started. We're about to try to chill up. Hopefully, we come across a million dollars somewhere, luckily. You know what I'm saying? Have a good day at work. Have a good, just period. Try to have a good day. Um, I go to the mailbox because my pops ain't wrote me. So for the past like four days, I'll be checking to see what's up. I can't get no hope. <clears throat> I can't get no phone call because I know he like in the hole or whatever. And I finally get a letter from this dude. You know what I'm saying? I get the letter. We're going to pay with right here. Um. The thing about letters from him, bro, it's always bittersweet because it's like, I be wanting to hear from him. Don't get me wrong. I want to talk to him, know that he's doing good and all this type of stuff. But even though he locked up, my day goes by knowing that I don't have to think about him. Like, sometimes I can go a week, two weeks without thinking about this dude one time. You know what I'm saying? And then when he write me stuff like this telling me that he's in a hole for a certain amount of time because somebody told him or this and that and that and this. It gets me back to that point to where I wish I didn't hear from. You know what I'm saying? I want to know he's doing good, but I don't want. I want him to treat me how I treat my sisters because everything my sisters know, I have to tell him. He don't tell them all the bad stuff. He tell me all the bad stuff. I'm free, doing what I want to, roaming the streets, doing what I want, bro. That type, it always get to me. And for him being down for so long, you know, all the advice that he gave me. I just take it and run with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust. Look, as far as situations go, if you know me, bro, I don't trust nobody at all. Period. He got told on. I've been told on before. And everybody know if you don't do it by yourself, you got that little bit. Like, you got that little bit of, in the back of your mind. Like, man, I know we free right now. But what if he do? You know what I'm saying? I don't want that. And it's just a lot of a lot of things he told me that I feel that I buy in life as far as beefing with somebody. You never beef with somebody on their terms. You know, you don't never get into it with a dude. He'd be like, all right, meet me at this spot or come meet me at my house and whoop whoop this. No, you do that. Look, you do it on your terms. Because if he telling you to meet you there or meet you here, he ready. And he trying to catch you off guard, bro. You got to understand that type of stuff. You got to understand that people, they going to try to win regardless. And if they don't know you, Ain't no fighting finna be involved. Ain't no, nah. They finna do what they can so they ain't gotta see you no more. And if ain't nobody around, they gon', you know what I mean? It's That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes, bro. And you always be a man of your word. Don't nobody, look. You don't, you can't consider yourself a real man if you tell somebody something knowing as soon as you tell them, you don't believe nothing you saying. You saying it just so you can get over on them or just so you can get that money. Or just so you can get out of some certain situation. Or just so, or just because you scared types. You know what I'm saying? Real men going to always keep their words. Another man will respect you more. Another female will respect you more. Your girlfriend, your mom, your sister, your brother. And you can walk around with some pride, bro. You can walk around with your chest out. You know what I'm saying? You can walk around feeling like somebody. A liar ain't cool. Nobody likes a liar. And coming from a man, the only thing you got is your nuts and your word. Other than that, all that fly you walking around there can be snatched from you. That car can be snatched from you, bro. What you gonna do when you, when you as a man in a room full of other real men? What you gonna do? Cause look, best believe this: a real man can spot a fake from a mile away, bro. From a mile away. So you walking around? Yeah, I got this and I got this. And all you speaking on is material stuff. All you speaking on is what you got. All this merchandise, bro. We gonna look at you like, yeah. He one of the flossing type that try to, you know what I'm saying? He do it all for the females. He do it all to look good. Where your brain at? Where your mind at? Because he's speaking on money. What you going to do with it besides spending? Because, oh, look, all money ain't meant to be spent. It's not meant to be spent, bro. You can save it. You can invest it. You can help somebody with the money instead of buying that little gold. Bro. Come on, man. We ain't little boys out here. And if you are a little boy, listen up. Because it's going to be a time of life where you're going to have to pick me. Look, even I'm going to pay... This car note, or I'm going to pay these bills. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm going to pay this car note. I'm going to pay these bills straight up. And some people would be hesitant like, look, well, my car got lights in it. You know what I'm saying? If I get hot, I could run an air conditioner. If I get cold, I could run a heater in on my wheels. Forget about the bills. I ain't got no. Nah, bro, yo, look. Your mind state is messed up. You know what I'm saying? You get your priorities done first. You be A1. You be stumped down. You be proud of yourself. That's what real man do. You be a man of your word. Because you're nothing. You're nothing if nobody can't depend on you. Your mama can't depend on you. Your girl, your kids. You nothing if nobody can depend on you, bro. All you're doing is look, running around asking, can I do this so I'll pay you back? Or trust me, I'm about to, or let me hold this so I can flip your money. Let me go, nah, bro. You supposed to be the one they depend upon. Which goes into me saying always try to get the bag, bro. Always try to get it. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing better than feeling like that year. I just put food on the table, you know what I'm saying? I just put this on the, you know what I mean? I just paid the bills in, the rent, the car good. What's up? We finna go shopping? What? At that time, you ain't got to be walking around. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If you was that dude that was walking around the house doing nothing with yourself, doing nothing with your life, right? That's you. Your girl paying all the bills. She getting the kids ready for school. She doing all the cooking. She doing all the washing. She doing all the cleaning. And she, you know what I'm saying? After a while, you're going to have to ask her, maybe beg her, like, what's up, baby? You think we can go in the room and, you know what I'm saying? You think I can get some wooty woo boo? She's going to look at you like, come on, like, yeah, come on, like, this old loser. She still love you, though. She ain't going to kick you out, but she ain't going to be ready to, like, jump up on you and give you that work. You know what I'm saying? She ain't going to be ready to just just show you that she want she wants you, bro. But let it be on the, let the, let, look, let the shoe be on the other foot. And you around there paying everything, got everything sold up, you taking her shopping, this and that. You go get home like, daddy come in the room, like, I need you, um, can you come fix? You ain't fixing nothing, bro. She wants you to fix her. So as you walk in the room, she got on. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. Always be the one that try to get it. Your mama, bro. How you think your mama feel if she need $50 on her light bill? If she needs some money for some new eyeglasses, she needs some food in the refrigerator. She wants you to help you with your little brother, her, her son, your little brother graduation gifts or Christmas or back to school clothes. And you can't even drop $50 or $100, $200. Your mama not going to tell you to your face, bro. She ain't going to tell, tell you to your face because she love you too much at the sun to be like, man, my son is a loser. Like, son, you ain't got nothing going for yourself. She ain't finna tell her homegirls because she, she don't want her homegirls to think her, look. Damn, Leanne cool, but, you know what I'm saying? Her son is a loser. Her older son is a loser. He can't help her for nothing. God, like, hopefully she don't go homeless because she can't go live with him. That's real, bro. You want to be that person that somebody can come to in a time of need, and you got to be the one that get the bag if you consider yourself a man. How you going to consider yourself a man if you ain't paying no bills and ain't getting no bag? You sitting right there trying to get your my player rated up on 2K18. Hey, this, 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 this would take a long time to get to 99. Got to play season after season after season. Your girl go to work. You sitting right there playing in that same exact spot. Even though you probably did, what you do today? You sat right there. You sitting in front of the living room playing the game. So when she woke up, go off to work. All right, babe, I'm gone. All right, babe, bye. You sitting right there on the left couch pillow. The one closest to the door. Soon as she leave, you pause the game. You're going to make you something to eat. You probably take out the trash. Probably mow the lawn today. You know what I'm saying? She gone for eight hours. You take your little nap, whatever the case. Uh, your homies come over, y'all shoot a little, whatever. Then about time, five o'clock in the evening come. You decide to get back on 2K18. And then sit right back in that same spot, the left couch pillow, right by the door. Soon as she walk in, you sitting right there still playing the game. Even though you did all that. All that all day that you, oh yeah, you mowed the lawn, you took the trash out, you made something to eat, you went to sleep, whatever the case. So when she walk in, it looked like you been in the same spot all day playing the game, bro. It looked like you been there all, she gonna look at you like, oh, what's up? Whatever. You gonna cook? Yeah, I got you. Because you got some good women no matter what you do. These women love you, bro. No matter you can cheat, not be a loser, I mean, be a, whatever. These women gonna still do it for you. But at the same time, her best friend, her sister, her mama, the people she real close to, they all know, bro. All you swinging and swipe, you, you's a loser. As soon as somebody come through and treat her right, 
with some money, take her out to eat, give her flowers. You're gone. You're done. And don't think just because you got the baby buyer that the twat going to always be yours because it's not. Some women, they fall for that for three or four years, five years. But after that, every woman wants a real man. I don't care who you are. And if that's not true, then, hey, you better wait to, uh, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I don't even know. Just wait until one of these dumbers come through and swoop you up and be like, oh, you ain't got to do nothing because I'm a nothing ass female. You a nothing ass dude. So, hey, we just going to be nothing together. What's popping? It shouldn't be like that, bro. At all. So, if you want her, if you want to be a real one, and you want to take care of your kids and you want some respect, you're going to have to do more in life than wait for the money to come to you. Wait for your girl to get paid. Wait for the count. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to really get up off that couch. Go out there and get it as soon as the night time. And I ain't telling you to adjust all in one day. And everybody think every time I say go out there and get it, I'm talking about something you ain't supposed to be doing. No, I'm talking about McDonald's is still hiring, bro. Burger King is still hiring, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think y'all always got to go out there and serve something. You don't. I wouldn't work there. But don't mean y'all ain't got to. That's what I'm saying. You can still go out and get it. You live in an apartment building. Go knock on everybody's door. All you need me to take out. You make you a hustle. You make a way to make you some money. And if you like it, you ain't making no money. Make a way to make it make you some money. Straight up. That's that's all I got to say. And till the next vlog. Ghost gang. Yeah. Bayo Flex extensive. Brand new Robert Smith and Wesson.